Hi guys, it's Dove. So, for the insulation for the top of my uh, fridge freezer unit here, I've decided to go ahead and make two pieces instead of just having the one piece and laying it on top. I'm going ahead and mounting it with double sided tape. This one's already done. So I just took the tape and covered all these areas here. And right back here, there. this was actually a, cor a corner, a hard corner. Whereas up here it was uh, just a rounded corner. And then in here, I don't know if you can see, it's inset in there. And so this is actually, right in here is not touching the, uh, the plastic. But this on this side and right here, that part is touching the plastic. So hopefully that'll be enough. And then I just put one all the way down the, the center. And then, because it was being squirrely when I was uh, placing it, I wasn't quite sure how I could place it and tack it to the tape at the same time without ruining it. You know, because it's like once you lay it down there, it's pretty sticky. And so I took my, my lovely little sticky gummy thingies and I put one right at the very back. Can you see that shiny? I put one there and I put one there and the backing's still on here. And so I went ahead and I positioned it right where I wanted it to go. And then right back here, I went ahead and pressed the, the ends down to those sticky tabs. And so now it's just kind of free floating, hanging there and that will allow me to to position it exactly where I want it and it's not going to be perfect as far as insulation goes but it'll be better than nothing and I did go through after after I laid the tape down and went through with a towel and I pushed all the bubbles out and everything and got the tape down onto the surface really well. And before that, I actually, I cleaned it with alcohol to get all the grease and fingerprints and everything off. This one's the hardest one to get off because of that little hump, it's going actually down. I'm trying to keep you in frame. And then that one I cut too long. And then I had to cut a little bit off. And I took that little bit <laughs> and I went ahead and added it right there. If it wants to stick. It doesn't want to stick, I don't think. Yeah, that may be coming off altogether. Oh, no, I got it. And it works pretty well. It's just kind of overlapping a little bit. It's not going to be a complete full cover like I know probably a lot of people would like to do. And I just don't feel like that's really possible with the circumstances. And so I just... Let's see if I can set you down. So I just took it and lined it up as good as I could. I'm lining up the, the front. And I haven't really pushed down yet. I'm just checking to make sure it's even enough, I guess. about where it needs to be. And now I'll press down on all of it. I think I put tape on almost every single surface imaginable. And hopefully the heat won't affect that tape at any point. 
and a couple people had mentioned in the last video that about putting a towel or blankets over it and actually when I took my trip to Idaho I piled my pillows on top of the refrigerator I took the other one with me I didn't have this one yet and uh, that worked but where this is gonna be in the in the cargo area um, I'm gonna try to make for for the area that's exposed because there's gonna be a shelf basically right on top of this it's only gonna be like that far off and uh, so there's no room for a towel or anything back there but there is gonna be a, a section about this much where that cutout is in the in the cabinetry but I was hoping to get um, to make some kind of floating shelf or something to sit on top of that so that I wouldn't need to uh, put a towel or anything over it. I want to make use of all the space that I can. And then after I made sure that this was all down, I was able to pull this back and get the get the little sticky tabs off. Because I don't need those anymore because now I have to tuck the ends of this down into the uh, reflectix back here which that was the hardest part because I've got a little bit of a tail here and so I've got to tuck that down in here my hands are wet because I'm sweaty. It's really hot again today. Okay. We're not getting anything done on the rig today. We started on the drawers, but he's not in a good mood and he kept getting mad and so we just stopped. And so, not much construction this weekend. So I'm just getting what I can done with this. And there we go. It goes right up to the to the thing. Just like that. And it's slightly overlapping on both sides. And let's see if it's doing what it's supposed to do back here when it's down. And then when I open it, it should go down into the thing. Yeah, it is. You can see it moving down into the other part of the ref this reflectix. So it works. It may not look the best, but it's not bad. And I can still see the display here and get to it and mess with all that. So yeah, it's not a perfect encapsulation, but it's good enough. I was thinking about putting one of those tabs right here, but I don't that that's too much of a gap, I think, and then it would make it so that these wouldn't slide. So I think I'm just gonna leave it alone right the way it is and call it a day. It doesn't want to stay open now, but that's okay. I probably won't be standing there with it wide open anyways. I would just open it and reach down there and grab what I needed. Yeah, it's not staying open now. No, it's not, but that's okay. I can manage it. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.